sound has the ability to transport us into the past, back to a memory, back to a moment that maybe you don't even know that you consciously remember, but sound can spark a thought, it can spark a memory and take you back into that moment. We all have sounds that remind us of our time at college or a song that reminds you of an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend, a piece of music that takes you back to a moment in your past that has a certain emotion attached to it. It could be sadness, joy, experience, and sound can make us angry, it can make us aggravated, it can make us aggressive, it can make us feel like we're not even ourselves anymore, it can sometimes even force us to do things that we wouldn't usually do. What I want you to think about is, have you sound designed your life? Are you aimlessly meandering through life and just experiencing the sounds that you experience in your town or your city or the suburb that you live in or are you consciously intentionally curating and selecting the sounds that you hear because the sounds that you hear are defining your emotions they're deciding your mental state they're inspiring and uplifting or they're destroying and dictating what you think about and how you feel. Think about the first sound that you hear in the morning, your alarm clock. Does it make you feel excited and enthusiastic and energized for the day or does it shock and alert you into jolting up in the morning and waking up in a state of anxiety and pressure because that is the energy that you will carry on throughout the day when you're on your morning commute are you listening to songs and sounds that uplift you are you listening to podcasts that educate you or are you just buzzing listening to the traffic or are you busy there sitting listening to your mind about all the pressures and stress that you're going to experience in the office when you get to work what's the first sound that you hear is it your boss telling you what you haven't done yet is it your colleague telling you that someone's competing for the promotion is it a song that sets you up is it a meditation that you do to get your morning right when you start your work day and what about when you end up home in the evening are you mindlessly turning on that box and pressing play on that streaming provider so that you can just once again dive deep into this immersion of useless insignificant sound which only takes away energy from the creative process only takes away energy from anything that you want to do with passion or focus in your life when i lived as a monk our life was sound designed or soundscaped we woke up to natural sounds it could be the birds or it could be natural water flowing nearby we started our mornings off with mantras, sacred vibrations that set up our mind and consciousness to be open to opportunities and accepting peace and happiness and joy settled within. We'd open up our ears to the sounds that would uplift and inspire and motivate us and turn our ears or close them from the sounds that would take us away. Even the words that we hear have so much power, they have so much emphasis on how we feel. We all know a negative word like hate or dislike or confrontation or judgment just turn us away. You see your body language closing up and changing when you hear those words, whereas words like happiness and joy, you see your eyes opening, your mouth expanding, your body enhancing, you feel the change in every part of your mind, body and soul. Sound is the vehicle of our lives. Just make sure it's taking you in the direction you want to go.